Hello fellows from Diplo. This February, the government of Venezuela has launched what it claims to be the first state-backed cryptocurrency. A period of pre-sale for Petros was officially opened February 20th, 2018. The government plans to offer 100 million units of the cryptocurrency, which is backed by the country's oil assets. During the pre-sale period, 38.4 million units will be offered and another 44 million will be offered by an initial coin offer as of next month. The technical community raises concerns about the feasibility of the project, pointing out that the government has not properly structured it. By Tuesday, an official white paper indicated that the tokens for the pre-sale would be available through the Ethereum blockchain platform, while on Wednesday, after the pre-sale period was already open, uh, that information had been updated and changed to indicate that NAM blockchain platform would be used, which is the position of the white paper as of now. The national opposition criticizes the initiative, arguing that the strategy is merely a way to offer bonds and increase public debt by circumventing the necessary authorization from the parliament to do so. And the U.S. Treasury Department has also issued a warning that the initiative appeared to be a way to extend credit to the government, breach, and get around sanctions imposed on Venezuela, which could represent legal risks for people eventually investing on it. Another development to highlight in Latin America this month concerns freedom of expression and content regulation. The National Parliament in Honduras has approved February 8th, on a reading by its special commission, a cybersecurity act which also contains measures to protect against hate speech in social networks. According to Article 6 of the bill, Content can be removed or blocked upon a simple notification without the need for a judicial order. This is similar to an initiative that we brought here on October, raised by Brazil and Paraguay, but then it restricted itself to digital communications within the electoral period, which now seems to be extended by the parliament in Honduras to any social digital communication.